This man is an ugly bee monster, accompanied by the queen bee. When she gently turns her head, thousands of bees swarm out, and the victim is this beautiful woman. Remember her appearance now. As you won't see it for long, the people on the bus continue to exchange glances, as if something unexpected is about to happen, making the woman feel a hint of nervousness. Suddenly, the man takes out a suspicious metal object from his bag, startling the woman. The next moment, the man raises the metal object above his head, revealing that it's just a flash mob dancing to the music. As the bus reaches the stop, everyone gets off, but the woman is nowhere to be found. She has collapsed on the bus, her appearance horrifyingly distorted. This scene shocks the arriving detective, Officer Green. After a forensic examination, it is confirmed that the woman died from bee venom, with nearly 500 milliliters found in her body. Considering that a bee can only release zero, one grams of venom, this is equivalent to being stoned by 50,000 bees simultaneously. Green gathers all the people on the bus at the time, and their answers are surprisingly consistent. They don't know each other, just danced together and got off. But as Green prepares to check Mike's phone, he suddenly reveals his true colors. While Green pretends not to notice, he glances back at the door and discovers another bee monster, seemingly communicating with the first one. Green deliberately releases them and quietly follows them to an abandoned factory. In the factory, the two bee monsters seem to be reporting to a female figure. Suddenly, a small bee falls in front of Green. Subsequently, thousands of bees start attacking them to escape the swarm. The two hastily enter a small room. The number of bees continues to increase, and the reinforced glass is on the verge of collapsing. In the critical moment, the bees seem to receive a command and fly away. Following the clues, Green arrives at an abandoned factory filled with bees and their corpses. Additionally, they find a massive beehive. The next morning, Green, accompanied by his team, arrives at the scene. After a thorough search, Green discovers that the two bee monsters were former factory workers, and the woman was likely the factory owner. The factory closed due to a lawsuit, and Green suspects this may be an act of revenge. Suddenly, his team informs Green of another tragedy in the city. They rush to the scene and find the victim in the same condition as the previous one. Killed by bee venom? As Green speculated, these two victims were the lawyers who handled the lawsuit. The last remaining lawyer, surprisingly, is someone Green recognizes a witch. He suddenly recalls what he read. That witches and bee monsters have a deep-seated enmity, and the two victims were also witches. It appears to be a conflict between two different races. Green decides to use the witch's bait to lure the queen bee. However, the queen bee proves to be exceptionally intelligent. With a command, millions of bee soldiers attack their residence. Faced with the sudden bee onslaught, Green is to work hard to prevent the invasion. However, when the bees finally leave, Green realizes that the lawyer has disappeared. Hastily, Green tracks down to the basement, only to find the witch and bee monsters engaged in a fierce battle. However, Green himself is blocked by the bees, witnessing the witch in dire straits. In order to save the witch, Green has no choice but to shoot down the queen bee on the spot. As the queen bee dies, all the bees fall to the ground. While the case is ultimately solved, Green is left in a state of confusion. Was his decision to help the witch eliminate the bee monsters really the right one?